Hi. In response to the tutorial I recently posted on outputting multiple maps at different levels of scale, Chirobri asked a question about how he can customize the colors and appearance of the map. Well, to answer Chirobri in more detail, I thought that I'd just create this quick video. Uh, here we've got a nice little map made in Fractal Terrains Pro. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on an area of the map. Let's zoom in this little part here. And it looks pretty good so far. If we were to export just this zoomed in section, we would, as per my first tutorial, use the Save Campaign Cartographer 2 file. So I'm just going to do that now. And you can see here that we've got a range of export settings that I can choose from. In the first tutorial, I selected Europe Export and then just went Export the World. I chose a location. It calculated the world map, and then if I open up that map that has just been created, Fantasy World Demo 1 Close Up, you'll see that it created a map with really no real level of sea detail and basic mountain levels here. Now, what Shrubbery wants is a different color scheme and maybe the ability to move these elements the scale bar and the um, uh, altitude uh, key somewhere else on the map. So to do that, I'll just close down our map. We're going to try something a little bit different. First of all, changing the color of our map area. You actually do this inside Fractal Terrains and you can access this by going to this menu icon here, World Coloring. Click on it and bring the tool panel up here. You can see that this system, this uh, tool panel has a basic bunch of existing color patterns. For example, we might want to make this Martian soil, in which case we'd have a gradient of sort of browns and reds. We could make it more moon, which is gray, uh, red colors, and so forth. You can actually tailor and create your own sets of these, but for the moment we'll just go for the Mars. There we go. Martian soil, I think. And if we apply this, close down this little tool panel, you'll now see that our area looks quite different. If we were to now export this file, save as Campaign Cartographer 2 file, and we'll just select the Europe export again, export world, we'll close this and we'll open up the file which has been exported. You'll now see that we have the same style of map but you can see here's the coastal areas that would have been set in the previous map but of course all the landscape is coloured in those lovely browns that we had but this area is white. So you might be asking well why is this area white? Why do we have these hard lines drawn in here? That's because it's due to a function of how we've exported. Let's go back and redo this export in a slightly different way. File, Save as Campaign Cartographer, and instead of selecting the Europe export, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select Test. Now this is a, a uh, an export filter which I created previously. You can create them just by clicking Create. I'm going to edit this one and we'll take a look at it. With the map that's exported, you can actually select what type of contours. I'm only selected in this case the altitude contours. If I wanted to, I could select to also add temperature contours. I don't want to do that. You're now asked how you'd like to select the contours in my export. I'm just going to change this back to basic. Select next. We're going to draw filled colors, but we're not going to draw the contour outlines. And we're not going to draw a coastal outline for this particular map. So we're switching this off. Again, you can make your own settings depending on how you feel about your, uh, your output. This is all customizable. We'll make the, uh, the ridge lines a little bit more fine. And this is the great screen. You can actually tell the export routine what particular types of things in your Fractal Terrains map get exported to what specific um, layers in Campaign Cartographer. So, 
to answer uh, Trobri's question, um, you would make sure that your altitude bar is on the C bar altitude sheet. So that's where the altitude bar is going to get put, and the climate bars and so forth. You can change this by adjusting it to any of the standard sheets. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave everything as standard, but as you can see, it's fairly easy to customize. Next, um, you could set whether you've got a border, a scale bar, and so forth. We'll even put a compass rose on this output. And we'll also add a map title, my map. Finish. Now, that means that we've changed, we've edited this, this export function. It's taking the colors from the map, from the world settings button over here, and it's applying them to the routines which we've created in, in here. And when we export world, and then we go and open this map, you'll actually see it's quite a different looking map now. You can see we, don't, we, we no longer have the contour lines, uh, sorry, the, uh, the coastal lines that we were, had in the previous map. Um, it's added a title to the map, and it's added the uh, compass rows that we selected. And that's all that there is to it. So fiddle around with those export uh, criteria. Uh, you can get very, very fine-grained control uh, with, the, with your exports, and create a, a theme which works for your mapping environment, for your style. Good luck with your mapping.